CFDs and dividends. What happens? Do you receive dividends when you hold a CFD position? This is something that confuses some traders. You'll often hear people talking about dividends being paid on the shares for which they hold CFDs. In actual fact, the situation is more straightforward than if you were to hold the shares themselves and the basic principles are easy to understand. First, let's consider what happens when you own the actual stocks. There are three dates around the dividend time that are important to you. The first is the ex-dividend date, since if you were to buy the stock on or after that date, you are not entitled to receive the next dividend. The second date is the record date. The record date is three days after the ex-dividend date and is the date when the investor must hold the shares in order to receive the dividend. This has to happen because it takes three days to settle the purchase of a share. The third and final date is the payment date. This could be a couple of weeks after these dates and that's when the dividend check actually gets sent to the shareholder. Now, if you're trading in shares using CFDs, the situation becomes simpler. You probably know that there are various charges and credits to your account while you hold an open CFD position. The dividend adjustment is just another one of these. Typically, the actual dividend payment made by a company is usually made a few weeks after the ex-dividend date. For example, ABC Industries might go ex-dividend on the 3rd of August, but pays the dividend money on the 10th of September. However, when owning a CFD over this period, you'll be credited the dividend on the following business day. If you hold a long position in shares with CFDs and you hold them in the day before the ex-dividend date, then you become entitled to a payment that's equivalent to the amount of the dividend. Remember that to qualify for the dividend, you must be in the position before the close of business on the day preceding the ex-date. If you are short the shares using CFDs, the situation is different. You now owe the equivalent of the dividend and it will be taken from your account. Traders new to CFDs often believe this is something of a negative point, as paying out money is never good news. However, if you look at the workings of it, it doesn't matter. For example, when a stock goes ex-dividend, its price will usually fall by approximately the same amount of the dividend payment. So, if a stock is priced at £4 and goes ex-dividend today with a dividend of 10 pence, the price should immediately drop to £3.90. The short seller will thereby have to pay the 10 pence dividend, but this will be offset by the stock price dropping around 10 pence. So you pay out 10p for the dividend, but receive a 10p profit from the share price drop. One cancels the other for a zero net result. Whether you receive dividends or have to pay them out due to being short should make little difference to the CFD trader. Remember, dividend income is more about investing than speculative trading and CFDs are not designed for investment purposes. Therefore, you should understand how dividends are handled with CFDs, but concentrate on the market direction because that's the essence of this game.